So today I'm going to show you what it takes to maintain the coolant in the Cincinnati CNC. Uh, this old unit has about 50 gallons of capacity. Uh, I'm using uh, Blazer uh, Synergy 735. Uh, it's pretty nice on your hands. It doesn't smell bad. Uh, it's clear uh, so you can see through the coolant and see what you're actually machining. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a sample uh, just from a chip tray what's what's laying in there we just ran uh, a whole bunch of cycles this morning uh, so uh, we'll grab a little sample and I'll show you how to use the refractometer uh, and and how that all works so let's go get a sample yeah this thing was purchased on on uh, Amazon and it comes with two of the little uh, turkey baster things to get your to get your sample uh, came with a screwdriver and that's used to um, calibrate the unit and what you want to do is calibrate this using in my case my RODI water and set that as zero percentage right uh, the the instructions that come with it uh, give you a detailed explanation on how to how to calibrate it which uh, which screw to turn uh, to get that to get that right at zero when you have no coolant in your solution uh, But yeah, this is a great purchase by 18 bucks off of Amazon uh, Anybody that's running coolant uh, in a machine should have one uh, It will make your coolant last longer. Uh, it will reduce the risk of uh, Surface corrosion on 7 series aluminum in particular. That's where I've noticed it Okay, so inside the kit usually uh, comes one of these little extractors, little turkey baster. So uh, I've got a little bit of coolant left in the uh, channel of this uh, of this Kurt vise. So I'll go ahead and just uh, suck a little bit of that up. And just like that. Now we're good to go. Now we'll go get the uh, refractometer and I'll show you how that works. Lift the lid here. Put your sample on the light blue portion of that plastic glass element right there. Let this fall down. It'll spread the sample out over that whole area. And then you just look through here and you'll see a scale. So here you can see the scale. It's uh, the bricks percentage. And the number we're shooting for is eight. This is with nothing on, no sample on the glass at all. So I will show you when we put that little sample on there what this looks like. Here's our refractometer. Go ahead and lift this up. Take our sample. 1, maybe 2 drips is all you need. Go ahead and let this down. You can see how that wets out over that whole area. And now you just hold this up to your eye. Little bit, little, let a little bit of uh, ambient light or light from, uh, from the office uh, come through and it will show you this. So this is what we see. Looks like I'm at about ten and a half ten and a half percent eight is my target I haven't added coolant in quite some time so what I'm going to want to do is add a very very light mixture of the Synergy 735 to uh, some water and I can probably judging on how the coolant is working I can probably put about 10 to 12 gallons of water in this thing so with a very light percentage um, of the coolant and mixed in with the water uh, we should bring this down a little bit we want to keep it around eight again as the target so that's uh, that's what it looks like so now we want to go ahead and clean this up so it's ready for the next use you can see the water in there wetting that out so you want just want to get that all out of there what I like to do is just shake a little bit of that out of there Grab a rag and nice microfiber and 
Don't want to scratch this, want to keep it nice and clear. Get all the water off, all the coolant. Make sure this is nice and clean. And uh, yeah, just like that. Ready for the next juice. Now this, I go ahead and rinse, uh, well, squirt this out, I'll rinse it in tap water, and then I'll use some of my special water that we'll talk about here in a second uh, to go ahead and flush this out. So here at Canada France, I have access to a great filtration system that we use up at the summit. Uh, we need very, very pure water to wash uh, and strip and wash the mirror uh, of, its, uh, of its aluminum coating when we do a recoating process. So for that, we have to have reverse osmosis deionized water. So this fits the bill for what is required uh, inside the CNC machine. Uh, you don't want to get a lot of solids in your water uh, mixed in with the coolant. Uh, that causes all kinds of issues with the coolant. So we try to keep it as pure as we can. Um, and that helps make our coolant last longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up five gallons or so of reverse osmosis deionized water uh, in, a, in a five gallon pail with just a touch, just a touch of the Synergy 735.
so now we got our uh, our new sample. Hopefully it's got a little less percentage in there. And this may take some time to work our way down from 10.5% down to 8. But, uh, but we'll see how we did. Two drops or so. Good enough. Close this guy up. See it wet out in there. And have a look. And there we go, right at about eight. Honestly, I'm about as shocked as you guys are. Uh, but that's, uh, that's how we make it work. From this point, all we have to do is uh, go ahead and clear this, clear this out, clean it up, and uh, make sure it's good for use the next time. So as you've seen, I do, uh, I do a lot of, I would call it prototype work. Uh, rarely do anything that's more than one part. Sometimes I'll do two parts or three parts of the same thing. Sometimes the parts are similar, but I have a few of them. But uh, basically I don't do long production runs. So my machine might run half a day, sometimes full day, then it might go weeks where I don't touch it. Uh, but uh, it does get used and the coolant, the water in the coolant does evaporate out and requires uh, replenishment from time to time. Anybody who has uh, the amount of coolant that I have out there, and that's not a lot, I've only got 50 gallons that I need to worry about, but uh, if you've got that kind of coolant, uh, I'm sure that everybody has one of these and is maintaining their coolant. Uh, you know, this is just a, a look inside of what it takes to run a machine shop. So when you see these outrageous prices, keep in mind that at some point, uh, maybe three years down the road is kind of what I've been getting out of this coolant. Three years down the road, I have to recycle as non-hazardous waste 50 gallons of liquid. And one of those buckets of Blazers uh, 735 is about $500. So there you go. Uh, that's what it takes to maintain the coolant in a CNC machine.